So far in this topic, we've talked a lot about some mental math strategies and how to multiply numbers in your head. Today, we're going to be moving on to practicing and learning how to do the multiplication algorithm, which is solving a multiplication by a multiplication problem by hand. So if at any time I want to remind you that you can stop this video, pause, you can go back and replay it. Um, but just remember that that option is there. In your numbers and operations section of your math notebook, please find the next blank page and put today's date in the top right hand corner and title the notes multiplying two digit by two digit numbers. Then we're going to start by just talking through a two digit by two digit problem. The first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure your numbers are lined up. You want your place values to be stacked right on top of each other so that you can be sure that you're going to get the correct answer when you start multiplying. The first thing you need to do is you need to ignore this number here on the bottom. I even like to cover it up sometimes with my finger so that I don't even see it because I don't need it for this first part. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take this 2 and you're going to be multiplying it by this 8. And when you take 2 times 8, you get 16. My 6 goes right down here. Underneath, I carry my 1. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this number and I'm going to multiply the 2 by this 3 right here. When I multiply 2 times 3, I get 6. Then I'm going to add the number that I carried. So I would have 7. I'm going to write 7 down here. So I have successfully multiplied each number on the top by this number 2. I've been ignoring this 1 over here. The next thing and the most important thing is you have to put a 0 down here as a placeholder. When you are multiplying 1 by both of these numbers, you are not actually multiplying by 1. You are multiplying by 10. So by putting this 0 here, you are saying that when I take 1 times 8, I'm not really doing 1 times 8. I'm doing 10 times 8. And when I take 1 times 8, I get 8. Or 10 times 8, I get 80. Then I'm going to take that 1 and I'm going to multiply it here by this 3. 1 times 3 is 3. So I'm going to put my 3 down here. Putting this 0 is a step that a lot of 5th graders forget. So do not forget when you're multiplying two digit by two digit, you have to put that placeholder in there to show that you're not multiplying by one, you're actually multiplying by 10. When you've done this, you have created two numbers. We call these two numbers partial products. Partial products are a part of a whole product that we are going to be getting. So, so we have a partial product of 76. We have a partial product of 380. To get our total product, we are going to add these two numbers. So 6 plus 0, 6. 7 plus 8, 15. 3 plus 1, 4. So the answer to our multiplication problem is 456. In your notebooks, um, as you've worked through this problem with me, please label these numbers as partial products so that you don't forget when they ask you to tell what the partial products are, that is what they are asking you to do. Hopefully you have a better understanding of how to multiply two digit by two digit numbers. The main thing you need to remember is you have to put that zero down here as your placeholder. Uh, below your notes that you just took, if you would please complete the following practice problems. 72 times 16, 84 times 21, they are already stacked and ready to go for you. 3 and 4, you are going to have to stack these numbers so that your place values are in line. Tomorrow we will check the answers to these practice problems and see how everyone is doing. Good luck!